Hey, this is my recap of Sister Wives Season 5, Episode 6, From Monogamy to Polygamy. And we are at the penultimate episode of the season, according to the commercial I saw. And I don't feel like much has happened, like this whole season. Like, I can't believe it's over because nothing really started. So, I guess they got money, but they, they might not have gotten money, but it wasn't a lot of money, but they haven't gotten it yet. And Mary's going to go back to school, but then we kind of push that off to the side. And, um... Robin can't, isn't going to have another baby till they get money, but maybe she is. I don't know. Anyway, they're on this road trip to Missouri to meet a Christian polygamous family. And the road trip was all last week. Now we're at the, we arrive, and they're just a couple. I, the, I didn't find the guy to be that interesting. One wife talked the whole time. The other wife we barely heard anything from. Um, you know, I never try to say anything about the kids. The kids were cute. But, you know, they're under, I feel like they're under 18, they didn't make a choice to do this, so I don't really want to be critical of them, because they don't really understand the repercussions of going on TV. Anyway, it was kind of boring. So they arrive, um, Christine and one of the daughters get into a conversation about chickens and a rooster, and how the rooster takes care of the chickens and calls them all over when he finds food, and Christine's like, oh, this is a great life lesson for polygamy, and so they discuss that, and... You know, the kids, you know, and of course you feel bad when the kids are picked on for their parents' choice of lifestyle. Because the kid really has no choice. So, um, of course you don't like to see any kid being excluded. Although, to be fair, all kids are excluded from something. You never hear of, I've never heard of someone who said they had a perfect childhood. But, anyway, you hate to hear about kids that feel excluded. But it's this big object lesson, which I was like, kind of went, you know, just wasn't my thing. They went to the Boone house and nothing happened. So, I guess we hear a little bit of how about Missouri was like kicked all the polygamists out and said you could you either kill them or kick them out. So, but that was all we saw about that. They have an adult dinner and they talk about how some families share houses, some families share bedrooms. And then, you know, the Browns were like aghast that anyone shared bedrooms, but which seems weird to me because it's not like they've never, I mean, they they are aware that there's people out there who, you know, men who date men and women who date women and and you know, people, men and men who date women and, you know, all that kind of thing. So it seemed weird to me that they were so shocked by it. Um, unless someone had said they thought that the Browns shared a bedroom. But they were like, they were kind of unduly shocked to me when they've been so, in the past, been like, oh, we're totally open to um, homosexual lifestyles. That's not for us, but that's your choice and that kind of thing. Anyway, we hear about one of the wives. Apparently, the two wives in this Christian polygamous family one of them is struggling with infertility. And I couldn't even get into that, so we'll just say, you know, Mary kind of talked a little bit about her stuff. Um, and Mary did talk a little bit about her struggle with polygamy and that she still to this day struggles with feeling like she's not a good enough wife, which makes me sad because they consider that to be part of their testimony, I think is the word that they commonly use. But that makes me sad because that's not something I've ever had to struggle with in my marriage. I've never doubted that my husband loved me. I've never doubted that I was the wife for him. Um, I know I'm by far an incredibly flawed person, but our relationship, I've never really questioned that. And so it makes me sad to think that even after 20 odd years, um, she still struggles with that. And I'm sure, I, I'm, I think it's reasonable to assume that they all do. Anyway, there you go. That was the episode. I'm sorry. I don't have anything more exciting to say. I will see you guys soon.